So I, I wanted to convey my thanks to Mr. Meena and the PF department for coming over to Network 18 uh, under their whole initiative of Nidhi Aapke Nikat. Uh, as he said, Nidhi Aapke Nikat is basically bringing the department to the doorstep of the corporate and to the desk of the employee. I think it is fantastic initiative by the government showing that the whole intent and philosophy is getting converted into action on the field where uh, the PF department, including the senior authorities, like Mr. Meena are coming on the ground to meet uh, corporate employees, solve their queries, give them advice, help them to transfer their previous balances uh, to their new account and if something is stuck, uh, resolve it uh, from a process and system point of view. So this is fantastic initiative from the government and thanks to the PF department uh, for initiative like Nidhi Aapke Nikat and coming right up to, to meet uh, you know, the HR department and the uh, corporate employees and um, helping them out. So, big thank you and, and thank you for all the help. As you are all are aware that uh, EPFO has started this Nidhi Aapke Nikat to ensure that the grievances are resolved on the spot or if it is complicated on the same day. So, all the employees who are having any issues on every 27th date of the month, this organ, uh, camp is being organized without fail and all the grievances which we received are resolved on the same day. Same day and our things is, this is the one of the best approach of the government or initiative to reach to the door of the employees as well as the employers and pensioners. So in this program, some pensioners also come, with, they are facing any problems regarding DLC or starting a new pension of their family members in case of deaths. So we try ki what are the problems we receive, the grievance we receive, we resolve it immediate and the member is made happy so that at least they remember that what EPFO initiative has taken is one of the best effort recently has been initiated. I think for last one, one year we are continu continuously we are organizing in different uh, locations and hundreds of employees are coming every month for, with their problems and these problems also grievances are also related to sometimes ESIC and the employee of ESIC also comes. But uh, what we think the government is trying to reach all the employees which are related to EPFO or ESIC through the joint outreach program. And so far I think thousands of employees we have, uh, we have resolved their problems during the camp only. And if any complicated issue comes, they, they are, we always call them, we interact with them and they, their problems are solved at the earliest. To bring one thing more, the government and uh, during the last uh, budget, government has initiated, introduced three, three schemes which are related to employment linked incentives. The three schemes I can, namely I can tell that these are First employee, those who are joining first time in the covered establishment of EPFO. So in, in this uh, scheme, the one month wages to all the employees who are entering new, uh, the benefits will be extended to them. And at the same time, the ben direct benefit of the one month salary in three installment to first time as employees as regist registered in the EPFO. And it will be up to 15,000. That means 15,000 amount will be paid to the employees, those who have joined recently or after 1st April of 2024. And the el eligibility for these employees is, the, up, so if their salary is up to 1 lakh, they will be eligible. And another second scheme is for job creation in manufacturing sector. The, similarly, if they join first time during this period, this scheme will be extended to both employees as well as employer. And this will benefit around 30 lakhs of youth employees who are 
joining during this current year. And the third scheme is scheme C, that is support to the employers. This will be <coughs> this will be open to the employers for support by the government. The government will reimburse to the employers up to three thousand per month towards their EPFO contribution for each additional employees. If they are adding adding any employment, the for each employment, government will reimburse rupees three thousand per employee for the period of two years. And this uh, beneficiaries needs to uh, will be approximately 50 lakhs. Uh, though these are the I think uh, very attractive scheme for the employers as well as employees in the sector of <coughs> creation of job. The intent of government is how to create employment to the youth of the country. Uh, they, they, they are motivating the employers as well. And the employees will both both employee and employee will be benefit for this scheme. 